This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and in this video we're going to make the individual levels of our grammar, our things like our wings, our roofs, our um, stories, more modular in how we generate them. Instead of hard coding it into our generator script, we're going to actually have scriptable objects that we can kind of insert and switch around so that we can make different types of buildings when we want to. We're going to start in this video just focusing on the roof and getting the initial implementation set up. And then I'll have a follow-up video where I do that same setup for the rest of them, but not covering it quite as much detail. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into the scripts folder and then into the generation settings folder. And in here, I'm going to create a new folder specifically for the roof. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to create a couple of different files in here. I'm going to create a C -sharp script file called roof strategy. I'm also going to create another C -sharp script called default roof strategy. And then finally, one last C -sharp script. And I'm going to call this one point if single. And what that's essentially going to do, the default roof strategy is really just going to reflect what we have right now, which is I believe just using the peaked roof um, as a default. Point of single will say if it's a single, if the current wing that we're on is just a one by one size, then make it the point roof. So kind of create a steeple out of this. Um, and so we'll see how that then, having these two different implementations, how we can use that to quickly be able to switch between them. Okay, so let's jump into our uh, IDE. And I'm actually trying out JetBrains Writer, the new um, C Sharp um, editor that. Unity has just announced and is, they're working with JetBrains on. Um, so you're just gonna you're gonna see a little bit of a different layout here, but ultimately it's going to be um, kind of the same um, the same code. Nothing's gonna change there, but just didn't want you to be surprised. So I'm gonna first jump into the roof strategy script. So in here, I am not actually going to inherit from mono behavior. Instead, I'm going to inherit from scriptable object. I don't need the start and update methods. And I'm also going to make this an abstract class because there's never going to actually be a roof strategy. There's always going to be some implementation of it. And the only thing I really need in here is I'm going to have, what this is going to do is what are currently our generate roof method in our building generators doing. It's going to return us a roof based on some sort of settings. So we're going to say in here that we have a public abstract method it's going to return a roof and it's going to be called generate roof and it's going to take building settings we'll call that settings settings and a rect int for the bounds of the current wing that we're in okay that's all we need in here save that now i'm going to go over to assets one nice thing, I'm not going to get too much into the um, details of JetBrains Writer, but one nice thing is that you actually have access to all your assets in here, not just scripts, which could be useful if you're wanting to edit other files as well. I'm going to go into Generation Settings Roof, and now I'm going to open up the default roof strategy. Now this is actually just, like I say, going to be what we're currently doing in our building generator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inherit from roof strategy here. And I am going to go into the building generator and I'm actually going to copy this generate roof here because we're going to use basically the same thing. I'm going to copy this, go back to default roof strategy. I'm going to delete start and update again because they don't actually mean anything. Oh, I do need to make sure that this is in. Um, oh, this is going to yell at me because I am missing the. Um, I am missing that um, generate roof method, so but that's okay because once I drop this in, we can adjust it and it will work for us. So I'm going to paste this in here, and I just need to make sure I say um, instead of static, we're going to say public override, and that means now I'm overriding the abstract generate roof kind of template here. I'm actually implementing it, and all it's going to do is just return a new default roof with the default constructor. So that's all we need in this one. 
You'll note that this is a scriptable object. I'm not including that kind of create an asset, um, the create asset menu um, attribute here. And that's because we're never actually, this is sort of like the fallback. So we're never actually going to create a scriptable object of this. We're just going to do that. If there is no, if there's nothing, you know, in the field where we would put that scriptable object, then we can simply kind of drop that in. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to open up the point of single, and this is where things kind of change. This is where we're going to start putting in our own kind of custom implementations. Now, in this case, I am going to want a um, create asset menu. So I'm going attribute. So I'm going to say create asset menu, menu name, and this is going to be equal to uh, building generation slash roof slash point if single. So that's how we'll be able to actually create this scriptable object and drop it in. And then in this one, we are going to again override that method. So I need to change this to another roof strategy. And in this case, I am going to actually use the, um, here we go, fix here. I'm going to say implement missing members, creates this for me here. I'm going to delete the exception that gets thrown. And instead, what we're going to do in here is we're going to say if bounds.size.x uh, dot equals 1 and bounds.size.y dot equals 1, then we're going to return a new roof of roof type point. else oops, return a new roof of, and this time I'm going to do a, I'll do it in this order here, random dot, oops, random dot range between one and four. And what I need to do is cast this, because this is just an integer, I need to cast this to roof type, and that will give me one of the four roof types. Uh, or technically one of the three other roof types, because it'll only do one, two, and three, and four actually gets excluded from this range. Okay, so we'll save that. And now this gives us sort of this, we have the default roof strategy, which is what we've always been doing, and now we have this point of single that we can swap out and say, you know, if it's a single point, or if it's a single square um, size, then use a point. Now, in order to make this work, we need to go into our building settings. And in here, in addition to setting our building size, we're going to actually um, include this uh, roof strategy as a thing that we can include. So I'm going to, between here actually, I'm going to put in um, as one of my public variables, I'm going to have a public roof strategy, simply called roof strategy. And eventually we're going to include these for our um, wings, our stories, our walls, etc. as well. But for now we just have the roof strategy. I'll actually throw in a quick to do add other grammar element strategies. So we'll know that we're going to be doing that eventually. Can save that and now in our generator remember that we have when we are when we start generating we're passing in this building settings so what we can actually do now is we can um, when we are going through this process we can actually instead of generating um, just using this generate roof method here we can actually generate um, using that scriptable object that we've created so I'm actually going to comment out this uh, let me see. What is the? I was thinking it was. Oh right, because I'm using it's probably still Casey. Yeah, I'm still using the uh, Visual Studio um, hotkeys, so it is still uh, Control K C for commenting things out. Um, however, you can also use in um, the more JetBrains style, which I believe is just Control and Slash. But 
neither here nor there. Okay, so what happens now is because I've commented this out, we can no longer use this generate roof here because we don't, that method no longer exists. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, have we included in our building settings a roof strategy? If we haven't, then just use the default roof strategy. If we have included one, use that. So what this will be is instead of um, the generate roof here, we're gonna delete that and we're going to say, settings dot roof strategy does not equal null. So what we're asking here first is in our settings, have we included a roof strategy? If we have, then what we're going to do is we're going to return settings dot roof strategy because it is not null. So we can access it and we can generate a roof and we can do that using our settings and our bounds. Otherwise, if we don't have one, then we need to use the default roof strategy. And how we're going to do this is we're going to say scriptable object dot create instance. And we're going to create an instance of default roof strategy. And in order for this to work, we actually need to then cast this. This returns, I believe, just a, a scriptable object. So we need to actually cast it to a roof strategy. And then all of this is going to, oh, and I need to actually encapsulate all of this into parentheses so it knows specifically that it's using that cast roof strategy. So now this should give me a, yep, generate roof. And again, we're just gonna pass in the settings and the bounds. I believe that should give us all of our Oops, we don't actually need that because we have the closing here. This is just closing the wing there. So all this is saying is if we have a roof strategy, then use that to generate the roof. If we don't, then generate the default roof strategy and create that. Uh, we can also actually do this with, um, as this is warning me here, that this string-based lookup is actually a little bit inefficient. So there is an alternative we can do where we do um, create instance of type default roof strategy there. And that will create that for us a little bit more um, efficiently. So with that, I'm gonna to go to building demo, make sure we have our settings all set here. We're generating with our settings, so that should be all good to go. What I can do now is go back into Unity and down in my settings files, I'm gonna create another roof folder just to kind of keep these all contained. And in here, I'm gonna do create building generation roof point of single. And I'm just gonna call this point if single. And we don't actually have any kind of customization in here. We could create, you know, some variables if we wanted to do other customization further to this, but right now it's really just kind of, we want to drop this in. We don't want to do anything with it aside from the fact that if it's a one by one wing, use a point roof. But what that lets us do is if I go to here now and I create a building generation, a new building settings. And here, what I can do is say, um, create this one, I'm just gonna call this um, single tower. And this is always going to be a one by one. And now I can actually apply a roof strategy. So I'm gonna lock this, go to the roof, and drop in a point of single. So the difference we have here now is that our basic building has no roof strategy, but our single tower has point of single. If I go to my building demo and I drag into here for settings for my building, I'm gonna drag in the single tower and hit play. What we see now is we get a building with a point that's one by one. If I were to say modify this to be a two by two or two by three even, and hit play. We see we're getting a flat roof this time, or we might get, if I do it again, we might get mm, flat roof again. There we go, now we get the, the um, slant roof there. So we're getting that random because it's not a single one by one wing, but one by one will always give us a pointed roof. And so Really, it's not a matter of getting a pointed roof. It is not the purpose of this, but really the, the fact that now that we have this ability to swap these out, what I can also do is I could drop this 
um, just say no strategy in here. And now if I hit play, we get a um, we get that default roof strategy again, where we're just using the peaked roof. So this ability is going, what we're going to really be doing is adding not just a roof strategy, but eventually a wing strategy, a story strategy, all of these strategies so that we can really customize and very easily drag and drop different settings so that we can kind of fine tune what kind of building we're creating based on the parameters that we're looking for. That's it for this video though. In the next video, we'll, I'm, like I say, I'm gonna quickly go through getting the rest of these scriptable objects set up. And then from there, we can talk about kind of how the procedural generation is gonna work and how we can fine tune that. So in the meantime, consider subscribing or supporting on Patreon if you want access to um, early files and things like that. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.